Well, first I must say, uh, being a staff developer and being at a couple of different summer institutes, this is the Summer Institute Year of Selfies. So, <laughs> we're gonna do one real quick. So, come on. I just learned how to do these, so. Um, let me see if I can, if we can get it. Okay. Oh, I think I just got myself. Oh, well. That's still good, I guess. There was a lot of brown in that picture right there. But that's good. When I think about the way to student success, it's not so much a way as an attitude, individual determination. Believe me, I know, I should have been an avid student. I didn't transfer from community college until after I had my four children. After transferring to UC Santa Barbara with a wife, a six, a four, a three, and a one-year-old, I graduated with two bachelors, a master's, a teacher credential, and went home to teach. I'd like for my wife, my daughter, and my son to stand just to recognize, can't do it without them. For the math teachers out there, there are two kids missing and they're working at home and they couldn't be here, so. We didn't just pick the favorites to come. They're... I currently teach at my alma mater, East Bakersfield High School. In my old neighborhood, I find not much has changed. When I attended EB in the 80s, very few of our graduating seniors went off to four-year universities. Many of us wanted to go and were encouraged to do so. However, knowing your destination and mapping the way to student success are very different. The one huge difference between then and now is AVID. In 2009, I was recruited by my mentor, Lee Vasquez, newly appointed principal at EBHS, to come over as coordinator and teacher. His goal, become the first AVID National Demonstration School in the current high school district in four years. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> Still, I accepted the challenge willingly. Finally, it was a chance to grow a program with the full support of the administration, counseling, and a strong AVID team. Only the kids would benefit the most. In 2013, EBHS did indeed become the first AVID National Demonstration site in the Kern High School District. What that meant to East High was a validation of our college readiness attitude. It highlighted for our community that our students, both AVID and non-AVID, were finding the road to college and were skilled enough to navigate it themselves. There is no better feeling than seeing almost immediately the fruits of your labor with your AVID students. The way to student success is riddled with convenient pit stops. When you are there to see these students look back and realize how many obstacles they've overcome, their empowerment is palpable. One example comes to mind. Let's call her Andrea. I met Andrea as she entered my freshman AVID class. She was bright, eager, and a seasoned AVID student having taken AVID in middle school. I learned very quickly that beneath her rough exterior, she had the heart and mind of an academic. Still, the influences of our neighborhood began to show very soon with the local Chicana girl gang pressuring her to join, even lead them. I assume they too recognized her potential. We weathered this issue together with her coming to me frequently to share stories and ask for guidance. Ultimately, she stayed on track and her acquaintances left her alone without incident. Her junior year influence was much more formidable. 
boys. <laughs> and she did not handle this new challenge very well. Andrea found refuge from a lonely home life with a neighborhood boy. Sadly, his influence tore her further away from her family. Although some compromise was attempted, it failed miserably the night her boyfriend and his friend physically assaulted her dad. In the melee, she left home with him, and then he left her. She slept in the park that night and many others until her friends took her in. Her reconciliation with her mother began slowly, but progressed very well over the next few months. Individual determination moves both ways, positively and negatively. Late in her junior year, Andrea met another boy. Boys, I tell you. <laughs> and long story short, a baby was on the way. She visited me and her counselor to determine what her senior year would look like. She wanted to keep her AP classes as well as her AVID class. Knowing that the next months would bring many changes and struggles, she accepted the challenges without equal. Her beautiful baby girl was born in November of her senior year after submitting all her college applications. I was amazed when she notified me that she was taking only three weeks off from school in order to begin the second semester on time. Further, she fought to keep all three of her AP classes and AVID, albeit in a modified class schedule. In the end, Ande Andrea graduated with honors, a 3.5 GPA, and was admitted to four or five schools. She currently attends Cal State Bakersfield, close to home and family. As an AVID teacher, we are the guide on the side, the coach, the gym trainer for our students. For many of our students, their way to success begins with a path to survival. Countless times we become the surrogate father, uncle, or to some extent their friend when it is needed most. Clearly all these roles are supportive in nature, roles where we do not and cannot do the things for the students, but enable and empower them to do it for themselves. They are individually determined to see their way to success, and I am proud to be a part of it. Thank you.